What's going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Happy Halloween. Hope you got lots of candy and you've made yourselves completely and absolutely sick because it is midnight and it's time to sit back, relax, and play a little bit of the forest. For right now, let me show you exactly what's going on here. As you can see, I've already started another platform. And I just kind of got a wild hair up my butt and just decided, you know what? I want to extend this out because I was thinking, well, maybe if we put two more floors up on our cabin, it might look funny. And I thought, well, why don't I just take one of the floors off and put it off on the side on a brand new platform. And I turned it into an armory because I found that on here there's something let's see there is uh, actually I think it was in the right one there's actually something I've never actually seen before or used it must have been an update that I wasn't uh, here for and it is now gone why is it now gone where did it go is it under customs I think it might be under custom stuff the armor rack and I think if you can do like three different armor racks, one for bone, one for uh, deer hide, and one for like the lizard skins, oh, maybe even the stealth one, so that would be four, uh, or something like that. Armor, uh, let's see, bone, uh, deer, stealth, and lizard. Yeah, so that is four. So if you can do one for each, that would be kind of cool in a little bit of an armory, and I can try and make a make something that looks like a forge or something. I don't know. I, I've been kind of getting some crazy ideas with it, so I figured at least I'd start by uh, you know extending out the platform, and then I went ahead and finished the detailing on the inside of the first floor. I think it looks pretty stinking good. Uh, I took out one of the benches here. Obviously, I put some chairs. I got some medicine, some drinks back in the back. Uh, I went ahead and put up some arrow holders and then some, I think I actually showed you already the bone holders. But I put some heads in here, got one of each of the small heads, and then uh, put up some, some leather and stuff on the walls, and then a couple of heads over here. I think it actually finished out pretty well. It feels kind of comfortable and it's not too cramped. Uh, and I put two more skulls up here just to make it kind of look cool, give a little bit more lighting. And then up here, I decided to go ahead and start framing everything up. Uh, got another chair with some uh, 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 table with some chairs. I finally got our bed in here. We're going to go ahead and, and build the bed. Uh, stairs up to the next floor. And this is actually going to be the last. Technically, it's going to be the last um, the last floor. Uh, but we're going to put a roof on the top of it, and then we're going to put a floor that covers the roof because the actual like slanted roofs don't actually cover anything. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I figured I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and probably just finish this off. And then once that's done, I'll be right back, and we'll go ahead and head over to the... Um, uh, the, 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 the cave and get the climbing axe and maybe do a little fighting. So we'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, guys, welcome back. As you can see, it is done for the most part. Uh, I went ahead and finished it off, put a roof up here, which took quite a while. Uh, put some railings up here just for aesthetics value. Maybe I might put some lounge chairs or something up here. I don't know. But as you can see, I also built the forge down there. Now, I'm talking at least 300 freaking stones to do that. Now, I was going to do it in wood, but I decided, you know what, to heck with it. I went ahead, and it was actually pretty easy to do. I went ahead and did the custom walls all the way around it, uh, the wooden walls. And then I just took all of the wooden walls out, and I just made sure to put a door in. And then I was really surprised because I went ahead, went ahead and put the rocks all in. Like I said, a couple hundred at least, like a good 300 rocks um, to make the walls. And then I was really surprised that the ceiling actually automatically snapped together. Now, I don't know if I want to put the... Um, the custom ceiling like this on you know what I'm saying I don't know if I want to put that on or not because it seems a little bit cramped in here if I was to do that um, I, I I don't know I don't know what to do but I wanted to make this kind of out of a for uh, a forge so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack a bunch of um, 
uh, uh, fireplaces on top of it. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to light them all so they look all a little bit burnt. And then I'm going to put some rocks around it, and hopefully it'll look kind of like a forge. So I figure this is going to be our armory. Uh, we'll probably work on that a little bit next time. But I figured you guys are probably tired of seeing anything that has to do with the house, even though it took me quite a freaking long time to actually build that. Um, let's see. I've got some cooked meat. i got some drinks and stuff. Let's, let's head over to... I think that looks pretty good, don't you guys? I like that. I like that a lot. That looks pretty cool. Definitely. Nice little forge. And I thought, well, we couldn't have the forge be wood. Could forge, you know, wood start on fire. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and head over to that cave. And we'll go ahead. Oh, yeah. As I, as you can see, I can I put a, a leaf trap in here just for the fun of it. I just wanted to light it up one of these times just to see what would happen. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, with... Where we're going, I'm going to go over to the, um, the, the, the the airplane tip, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, if we look over this cliff right over here, as you can see, we are now at the airplane front. But we're actually behind it. So, and for some reason, it's clipping out a little bit, it looks like. But we're actually behind it. We're not by the tip. We're behind the back end of it. So if we just turn around and we go this way just a little bit, there should be a couple of tents down here. Oh, looks look at all the – I had no idea these are over here. I'm going to have to come back here and collect all of these. But there should be a couple of tents that are down here. And forgetting the, 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 the climbing axe, this is pretty much the best area to go to. It's the fastest um, to get there. But you do have to fight a little bit, but that's all right, because we don't mind that. So let's go ahead, and we'll head down here. And see if we can get down. Now, this kind of utilizes the fact that if you're, you know, you're barely tapping forward, um, and you can slide down rocks and stuff like that, that kind of, it, it, it kind of uses that idea. Um... So you can actually get down these walls without actually having to have the climbing axe. Which, I don't know, some people might say it's cheaty, other people might say it's not. I don't think it is, personally, but that's just me. So let's go ahead and light up, and then we'll get down here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a climbing wall on the left-hand side here, or on the right-hand side. And if you just stay close to the edge... And you can just kind of slide your butt down and make it all the way down without getting hurt. And then all we got to do, and this is so cool, they got these little cave fish in here that are all albino because they don't need coloring anymore. So awesome. Okay, so once we get over this, I think there's like three or four poles. I'm not sure how many poles there are over here trying to get over here without having my torch go out, but that's just not going to work at all. Come on. Okay, let's light up. Oh, crap. As soon as we light it up, we get... Now I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Come on. Ooh, it's dark in here. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. Wait just a minute. I can't see anything. Here we go. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Are you dead? Are you dead? Now you're dead. Come here. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, we got a big guy. I hate these big guys. They freaking take forever to kill. Come here, honky. Is this one dead? I gotta make sure that guy's dead. He's not dead. I knew it. Now are you dead? Stay down. Ooh. What, you thought you were going to sneak up on me? I want these sticks. They're lagging out. Oh, what's up? You know, it's kind of surprising to me that I actually haven't made any bone armor. I've killed all of these guys, and uh, I haven't made any bone armor yet. And that's kind of surprising to me because I haven't felt the need to. I've just been kicking some butt down here, and 
I really haven't fe felt the need to actually make any bone armor, which is crazy for me. Because that's like one of the biggest things that I've always been, you know, adamant about. Especially when I play with like scoobs or whatever. It's like bone armor. We need bone armor. We need as much protection as we can get. But now, lately, it's just like, whatever. Alright. Now we got the glowworm cave up here. And I think there's a couple of guys. Well, it looks like there's a generator down there. Okay, so, uh, can we use these? I gotta see what's down here. I don't want to be just running down there and... Seriously? You're not gonna break or nothing? Okay. That water is really loud. Seriously? Do I have to use my flares? Because I can see that there's two guys down there so far. You know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. I got dynamite, and I know where to get dynamite, because I showed it showed it to you in the last episode. So let's see if we can just blow some stuff up. That didn't work, like, at all. Okay, so what about you, homie? This is, like, overkill, but you know what? It's fun, so why not? Oh, that should have done it. Okay, what else do we got going on? You got anything else? Okay, so I'm going to slide down. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, and there is something else. Oh! <laughs> it's like taking candy from a mutant baby. Are you all dead? Did I kill you all that quickly? No way. Okay, so now that we're down here, up against this wall is the climbing axe. Bum, ba, da, bum. We got the climbing axe. Um, and it's that easy. I mean, you really don't, it's not really that hard. Uh, if you go up this direction, I think there's one area where you have to blow the wall up to get through. And then it's a dead end after that. But I'm not for sure. And I think there's another direction that you can go. Um, that you can climb up and out. But honestly, there's not really anything cool up there. I mean, there's supplies and stuff. But we're so freaking full on like everything. There's no reason to go up there and just waste our time playing around up there. So what I think I'm going to do next is... This area... There's not anything really down here. I've checked it a few times. Um, so we're going to go across over here. And then this is one of the passengers that we get to find. Plus she's got a watch. But I don't know if I need one. No. Nope. So seat 16. And eh, she doesn't got any money on her. So we're going to jump this. But on the other side of here, I think there's bad guys. There we go. I think there's bad guys over here. So... I really wish I could see over there. I'm almost positive there's bad guys over there. So I'm going to stay close to the wall, and if one attacks, I'm going to see if I can push him off. I swear there's a guy right there. I just want to make sure. Yep, there's a guy there. I almost hit him too. I suck at bow and arrow. Archery. It's actually called archery. Okay, there we go. Get him. Oh, come on. Seriously, Mystic? You suck at this game. One more try. And... I can't really see where he's at now. Oh, to hell with it. Come here. Okay, so we got seat 15 passenger. Oh, now you just decided to climb in there, huh? Oh, dude, aren't you dead yet? I thought you were dead. Okay, we got little ones. I can't see anything. Whoa. Come here, midget. You're toast. And you? 
Woo! Oh, whoa, really? I wonder if they added that in just recently, the, the walls being able to blow up and stuff. I think this guy has got like, no, I thought he had like watches and stuff. But So yeah, we're going to go down here. Now, one of the big things about the pickaxe, or pickaxe, it's not a pickaxe, uh, the climbing axe, is people are arguing back and forth, hey, you know, you used to be able to climb up the, 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 the wall of, the, what is that, the sinkhole? Um, but you can't do that anymore because of the last update. And then they're like, oh, yeah, you can still do that. And then you can't. And you know what? We're going to prove that you can right here and right now. Because this cave comes out in the butthole of the forest world. So let's see if we can supply up out here real quick. And while I'm at it, I might as well get the climbing axe out. I don't even know if there's anything out here, honestly. Yeah, see, I think these are just, like, all empty boxes. Oh, there's flares. Drinks that I can't carry. Okay, sticks. Is there any booze? I think there should be some booze out here or something. Nothing? Seriously? Nothing? Nothing? Oh, there's some bones. Well, at least we can make some bone armor later on, I guess. Is that it? Is that everything? I think that's it. Okay, so let's prove right here and right now. Wow, they got... No. Stop. Get off of the side of the wall, you knucklehead. Okay, so I, I am clipping out really bad. Okay. So let's prove right here now that you can actually walk up the side of the bum, the bum hole of the world. Shall we? Come on. I know you can do it. Oh, look at that, guys. You can actually climb up the side of the bum hole of the forest world. I am clipping out so bad today. What's going on? we go faster there you guys go see so you can actually if you wanted to you can climb all the way down to the bottom if you wanted to and not have to worry about going through any caves to get to the bottom so we are now officially up out and we did it with the pickaxe or the climbing axe as some people call it so yeah definitely can do it with the climbing axe um, but I don't want to get too close to the side. I think you can actually kind of just walk down these. You see all these little, where the pickaxes point, you see all these little, like, grassy areas? You can actually slide down the side wall of this all the way down to the bottom, too. I've seen people do that before. So, so yeah, we got the climbing axe. Excellent. We got a whole bunch of freaking flares. Look at all those flares now. Um, we're getting pretty set up, to be honest with you guys. We're not doing too bad. Got a little bit of bones. Got some medical herbs and stuff like that. Got some seeds. I think that's probably one of the things I'm going to do in the next episode. Whew, I can ran out of breath there. <laughs> I'm going to do that in the next episode is probably throw out some... Um, uh, 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 some farming plots and I've made a whole bunch of freaking explosives anytime I come across watches or and and coins um, and electronics and and basically anything you know I make that and then I turn um, I turn those into sticky bombs and make it so they have to stick because I don't like it when they don't stick they bounce around and then I don't actually explode what I wanted to explode so we've got that going uh, for the most part those are all sticky bombs. We're actually doing really freaking well, like ridiculously well right now. So, I mean, no worries. We're all good. And uh, there's a lounge chair I'd like to take back to the cabin. But that's not going to happen. Anyway, I haven't decided if we're going to go deep down in there. I think we need the rebreather next before we go any further. So um, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. No matter what you do, subscribe. And uh, keep gaming. Keep doing it at midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and have a good one.